In this video, we will look at how to add support using FlashPrint, the proprietary slicer for FlashForge 3D printers. There are two dialogues we will use to add support and then further to adjust the settings of our support to ensure the maximum print quality. FlashPrint offers two different styles of supports, linear or tree-like. The first dialog we're going to look at is the Support Options dialog, which is found on the right side of the main window. From here, we are able to automatically or manually add supports to your print. The top section lets us choose our support type, either linear or tree-like. The next option is Overhang Threshold. This is used to determine where support will be placed when using auto supports. The higher this figure is, the less supports will be added. We can also adjust the size of both styles of the supports here. The next option is a checkbox, touch platform only. This allows us to generate supports only from the platform. If left unchecked, supports will be generated from the model to help prevent overhangs from collapsing above it. Below that, we can manually add or remove supports using these two buttons. The third button is useful for IDEX printers. Clicking this will allow us to select our supports, right click and choose which extruder to use to print them from. Now that we've added supports to our model, we can click on the Start Slicing button at the top of the main screen. On the left hand side, we can click on the Supports dialog. The first option relates to the style of support structure we've chosen to use, either linear or tree-like. For tree-like, we can set the support print speed, which is a percentage of the base print speed. We can also adjust the space to the model along the X and Y axes, increase or decrease the shell count, which can increase the strength or decrease the strength of our supports, and finally, auto set up Z-hop. This can help prevent collisions with supports during the movement of our extruder. In linear, we can also adjust the print speed of our support structure. Again, it is a percentage of the base print speed. We can also adjust the space to model along the X and Y axes, as well as space to model, space to raft, both along the Z axes. We can also adjust the path shape of our support structure, either polyline or grid. Grid is more beneficial for support, while polyline is easier for removal. The setting underneath changes based on what we've selected here. Either path density for grid, or path space for polyline. We can also adjust the support thickness as a percentage, add or remove top solid layers, adjust the path angle, increase or decrease our top solid density, and also allow for horizontal expansion. Horizontal expansion extends the support structure to prevent unsupported overhangs at the edges of our models. Finally, we can also add or remove a print outline. Print outline only affects the polyline support structure and closes off open sections within our supports. Once our settings are selected, we can now hit slice. In our next video, we will look at the raft settings.